Isaiah chapter 26. Verse 20 and it reads, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth. According to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. <clears throat> In regards to people here, forbear, yep. Yep. Look up for your redemption draw of night. It's high time to awake out of sleep. The Lord says he's coming out of his place. He's coming out of the heavens to punish the inhabitants of the earth. To punish the inhabitants of the earth. Look, look, for, for their wickedness. He said the slain of the Lord shall be from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. Lord willing, we count it part of that number to get beamed up out of this hell hole. You see, out of, out of this cesspool of wickedness, this is getting more evil by the day. Seek the Lord, Israel. It's, it's really going down. Evils are multiplying. That They're increasing because the wicked is ruling the earth. Everything the Bible said was going to happen, it's happening in real time. Wars, storms, floods. And we keep naming these things. The Lord said keep naming it. Damn it, we're going to keep naming it. You don't you don't like what's being said? Turn the video. It's, it's billions of people with YouTube pages that you can go listen to. If you don't want to hear the words that we're bringing out according to the Bible, then turn the page. You ain't got to make no... I'm not going to comment on a video I don't like. I'm not even going to watch a video I don't like. These videos that we do are only for the whole elect of the nation of Israel anyway, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The Lord said, preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season. Damn it. That's what we're going to do. Lord's will. And so the Lord said, look, it's done. It's finished. Isaiah 26, 21. Come, my people, the elect of the nation of Israel, which once again consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And nobody ain't got to believe that either, man. You people ain't got to believe that we're the biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. You ain't got to believe it. The Lord said they won't going to believe it. But in the place where people didn't believe that we was the children of the Lord. Matter of fact, let's just get that right quick. Let's just get it. And I'm going to come right back. Lord willing, let's just get it right quick. Hosea chapter 1. Let's just get that. Hosea chapter 1. Verse 10. Because still to this day. No matter how many scriptures we bring out, it, 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 don't, it don't matter how many relics they find, how many pictures they find in the catacombs and uh, over there where Putin was at when he um, opened that vault, you know and it had all them different Russian icons of who, what the Lord looked like, what his people look like, who his people is. These people still don't believe. But let's get this though, because so what if some don't believe, man? Lord's going to beam the elect of the nation of Israel up out of Babylon and throughout the four corners of the earth, pursuant to St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. We might have to get that too. Hosea chapter 1. Only the elect, though. Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. Yet the children of Israel, a people before us a place, shall be as the sand of the sea. We everywhere. As the sand of the sea. Imagine that. Hell, you pick up one um, handful of grain of sand on the sea. You can't count them little grains. And that's just a handful. So the Lord is likening the children of Israel to the sands of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said to them, ye are not my people over here in Babylon, the great man. We was known as blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, right? They say we ain't the people of the Lord. Remember, anybody can be an Israelite except for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's where the bus stops at, right? You know who the Israelites are by, by the sign, a.k.a. those curses that's put upon them, man. 
They the only ones that's getting treated like crap by everybody, man. They'll never get ahead. The system was created for us to never get ahead. Then they get they get that Israelite women some accolades, give her some blessings on this side to have her over the man. But it's all good though. Because our time to rule is coming. Our time to rule upon the Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah is coming. You see? It says, what did it say? It, it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons. You, you are Yasha Allah. You are a prince of the living power, right? You are the prince of God. You are the sons of the living power. You see, you are all the Israelites. You are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. That's going down right now. It's going right down right now as I make this video. Going right back. Isaiah 26. Look, look up for your redemption. Draw of night. Look up, Israel. Look up, Isaiah chapter 26, verse 20, and it reads, Come, my people, the elect of the nation of Israel, enter thou into thy chambers, meaning the ships, the spaceships, the chariots, what they even call UFOs. Remember, beam me up, Scotty? And shut thy doors about thee. The chariots got doors on them. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment. One hour. It's only going to take one hour to destroy Babylon the Great. From sea to shining sea. One hour. And once again, nobody ain't got to believe. We don't do these videos to make y'all believe. We don't, we don't do that. That ain't our job. Our job is just to do the video. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation, meaning righteous anger, be overpassed. The righteous anger of Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, right? For behold, the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, cometh out of his place, coming out of the heavens to punish the inhabitants of the earth. And that's what we want in our people about. The Lord coming to destroy this place. The Lord coming to punish people, man. He coming to make war, man. He's coming out of this place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity, for their wickedness. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slave. And I want to get this since I'm thinking about it right quick. Still in the book of Isaiah. Let's just get this. Isaiah the 13th chapter. Let's get this right quick. Isaiah chapter 13. Slot. I match Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 13. Isaiah chapter 13. Verse 9. And it reads, Behold, the day of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, cometh. It's near, it's near than what we believe, right? Cruel, it cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. This is what the day of the Lord consists of, not lovey-dovey, not hugs, not kisses. None of it, not no damn cake, not no chocolate cake, strawberry cake, coconut cake. No, man, coming with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate, to lay this land, America, Babylon, the great desolate, man, meaning uninhabited. The only thing, when, when, when they're all said and done, the only thing that's going to inhabit Babylon the Great, this landmass, is desert creatures. Desert creatures, man. Owls, vultures, things of that nature, man. Komodo, dragons. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it, man. And I want to go here because I mentioned Matthew. I want to, I want to go here. I want to go here. St. Matthew. Come up hither, man. Until the indignation be overpassed. St. Matthew chapter 24. St. Matthew chapter 24. Verse 29. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. It reads, immediately after the tribulation. You got Israelite group leaders talking about it ain't going to be no tribulation. No, after the tribulation, immediately after the tribulation, immediately, man, after the tribulation, not five years, not 10 years, not a hundred years, immediately after the tribulation. Because remember, if I, if I go back up, son, it says tribulation coming upon the earth never seen before, man. 
It's the tribulation, Jacob's trouble, martial law, the hour of temptation. All that, right? Immediately out of the tribulation of those days. See, everybody think this, oh, it's a, it's a whole lovey dovey. No, say, no. It's written in this book, Lamentations, Mornings, and Woes, right? Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear out of all that right and then shall appear the sign of the son of man lord yahweh shai remember he says he's coming out of his place he's coming out of the heavens man the son of man in heaven in the sky right and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man lord yahweh shai who they call jesus coming in the clouds the chariots of heaven with power and great glory man you see and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Because remember, the Israelites are like the sand and the sea. We have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And you got Israelites in every country, in every continent, con um, continent, right? Yeah. So you got chariots all over the earth, man, beaming up elect men, women, and their offspring throughout the four corners of the earth. This is what the Lord has said. So look, the Lord ain't delivering every Israelite on this go around like he did in ancient Egypt. When we got delivered out of ancient Egypt and went into the wilderness, all the Israelites got delivered, but not on this go around. Somebody that told you wrong. Not on, look, he going he gonna to deliver his elect. Just get this. That's why that's why it's high time to wake out of sleep. Salvation near to what we believe. You can see it. With everything that's going on, you can see salvation near to what we believe. All the signs, everything is adding up. Everything is adding up. Everything is linking up. Romans, the 13th chapter. Verse 11, and it reads in that. Matter of fact, just get it. Just click on it. Romans, chapter 13, verse 11, and it reads in that, knowing the time, that now... It is high time to wake out of sleep. Come out of that dead state, you Israelites. Come back to your power. Come back to your nationality. Come back to your heritage. Come back to the truth according to the Bible, right? For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And it was written thousands of years ago. So how much more closer is salvation? This is written thousands. Beam me up, Scotty. The Lord said, look up for your redemption. Draw of night. When you see these things, when these prophecies come to pass, look up for your redemption. Draw of night. The end is near. Then when we believe, come up hither. Come up hither. Shalom.